Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to fix. This is a nice HP i7 agent and NVIDIA graphics. This job came from a local computer shop, and it's saying no powering, no charging. So, uh, what this laptop is doing, yeah, pay attention on the screen because, yeah, the charger, this cable is connected to the power supply. So plug in the charger and it's taking like 10 milliamps, going to 20, 30, about 10, 10 milliamps, yeah. Pressing the power button, the power button is here, no, it's here. Pressing the power button, going to 40 and then back to zero, back to one, 10 milliamps. One more time, yeah, you can see. The laptop is dead, I mean dead dead. So what can be the problem? Okay, the fact actually is not charging. It's a good starting point. That's mean my IO chip is not really healthy. It does have voltage because it is reading the the power button, yeah. But it doesn't want to start the laptop for some reason. The laptop doesn't have screws. So actually, the computer uh, shop they opened the the laptop. They did the basic stuff, like reset the BIOS and things, and uh, it didn't work. Okay, so that's the laptop inside. That's a repair there with hot glue. Uh, can you spot any bias battery? Because I can't. But the battery socket is broken, yeah, and solder with hot glue. I mean solder. Stick with hot glue. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Let me unplug the battery. Yeah. So what the laptop is doing without the battery? Wait, without the battery the laptop just start? What kind of sorcery is that? Yeah, let's wait. Yeah, it's taking like 1.3 amps. Yeah, and we have picture. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, it's starting. Okay, and it's loading the windows. Let's do a trick, yeah? Let's plug the battery. Now, on the laptop, it's working. What do you think? Is it risky? We plug the battery and the battery is charging. Look at the current. My power supply shut down. My power supply goes on the limit. And obviously, drop the voltage and the laptop shut down. That was a bad idea. By starting, wait. Do we have the charging light? Well, this laptop has no charging light. Let's power off. Or restart. Yeah, let's restart. But no, it's not charging. So check the current. That's the, that's the current which is taken by the motherboard, not by the battery. So do you think we have a faulty battery here? Yeah, and the battery has an X on it. Check that. You can see the X. Indeed, so this laptop... 
you see this is a tricky case so the laptop is not coming on if the battery is faulty like okay let's let's unplug the charger yeah, and the laptop switch off yeah unplug the battery yeah plug the battery back so the battery is plugged back now plug in the charger okay now let's press the power button it's not working so you see that's that's why it's it's good to try to unplug the battery and try to test the laptop without the battery no it's not working it's not coming on the current goes a little bit up and then uh, back to zero you can see so it's not working because of the battery you see nothing okay so how we can fix this battery that's a good question you don't think first let's have a look at this socket yeah let's see maybe something with the socket so the battery socket look has been repaired I mean has been repaired looks like it's some hot glue there and I don't think I'm guilty but the pins are fine I mean there's nothing wrong with the pins no it's not even point to take the hot glue out yeah the pins are fine so let's try let me grab the tool and let's try to diagnose the battery yeah let's see if we can fix it you know what whatever i do i can't read this battery so i believe this battery is actually faulty i mean the electronic board or something bad happened with this battery because i can't i cannot speak with the battery my nlb device is not speaking with the battery so i will say let's take the battery out let's try to open the battery and have a look inside okay so that's the battery how we can open this battery huh any idea i mean it looks like a genuine one yeah replaced with with laptop spares lol so probably this is not original hp right on the original parts it's saying replace with original hp but not on this one on this one is saying replace with laptop spare what is that? Replace with laptop spare. Although replace with car spares. Yeah, so probably this is a copy, yeah? Let's try and open and see what's going on inside, yeah? I'm trying to find the board. So this is the board. Oh, yeah, this is the board. So check here. Yeah, that's the board. Hmm. And we can access the board, that's fantastic. Let's check the cells first time, yeah? Let's see the cells. So the total uh, voltage, where is the total voltage? From here to here? Yeah, 8.7. With a plus on this side. I mean, the battery looks okay. I mean, the cells looks fine. Hmm? You don't think? lol he's taking five amps i have five amps there let's charge it a little bit yeah that's fine good 9.7 that's fine let's see why he's not speaking with my uh, nlb let's see what chip do we have here i mean it has to be a bq in order to speak with my uh, device it is a BQ noise 40 Z yeah BQ so why is it not working then we have here the wires 
Wait a second. What is this? One second. So the yellow pin is soldered to ground. The yellow pin is soldered to ground. We have clock and data, green and white. RTC. Wait, 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 wait. Does mean I set up the wires wrong? So green and white is the clock and data and not are not even connected. Wow. Okay, let's try again. Okay, you know what? You know what? The battery is okay. I mean, check here. I mean, it is unlocked. Yeah. The cells are balanced. True, the voltage is low. But it's looking fine to me. Yeah, no capacity. The battery health. The battery is like new. So why this battery is not working? Start charging. And it does charge. Check here, the current is going up. Because if the battery is not speaking with the EC chip, it will not charge. So uh, the battery is good, yeah? I can see I can communicate with the battery. The question is, why my battery is not speaking with the EC chip? So the battery I know is good. Yeah, I can speak with the battery. It doesn't matter if it's a replacement battery. But it is a problem with the clock and data from the battery connector to the EC chip. So what are we going to do? I will leave it on charge just a little bit. Then I will connect the, laptop, the battery back to the laptop and try to do some research about the clock and data pins. Okay, so we charged the battery for a while. The cells have now four, uh, four volts. But I think, I think everyone missed something, and I missed something, yeah? So reading the battery, this battery has zero cycle counts. So uh, what do I think happened, yeah? And was manufactured, check here, check here, manufactured date in March 2023. So what do I think it happens? Uh, probably the, the laptop died and uh, the customer bought a new battery, which never worked, this one. Because otherwise I cannot explain zero cycle count and actually it's manufactured this year. I mean, like two months ago. <laughs> Crazy, eh? Okay, so we have a little bit of power into the battery. All good. I want to put the battery back and uh, see what uh, what we can how we can fix this because the battery is good. Because the battery is good. So I'll take out my device. I'm not sure what should I do with this battery, because now it's not new anymore. It was new before I touch it. Yeah, that's fine. It's like new. <laughs> okay, let's check. Well, let's see. So now we know the battery is good. Clearly the battery is good. Lol, you think I think I know what happened. I think the customer plugged the battery on the other way around. Ha ah, ah. ha Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. So let me see the first two ground. Ground, ground. Okay, so I believe the ground has to be here. Yes, yeah, so the battery has to be on this position. 
Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So the battery was plugged uh, was plugged in the wrong position. Yeah, let's go under the microscope and try to fit that connection connector properly. Yeah? But wait, wait, wait! I have ground even on the other side. Uh, okay, that's tricky. That's tricky. So here I have four pins with plus. But even if I spin the connector, I still have four pins with plus. Even if I spin the connector, I still have ground. <laughs> so check here, check. This is brilliant. <laughs> so no matter how you spin the connector, plus and minus, it will always be right. Yeah. What will be wrong? It will be clock and data. I mean, this this wire is connected to ground to the battery. So, you know, it's not even important how we are testing, yeah? If it's charging like that, it's fine. If not, we are spinning the connector. <laughs> yeah. yeah, kind of insane, yeah, kind of insane. Let's plug the charger. So the charger plugged in. And... 70 milliamps check there it's charging with one amp <laughs> and i have the orange light here check here orange light that's crazy so i believe i don't know i will check the video later actually i can check now one second one second because i stopped the recording one second uh one second one second Okay, so the green, one second, the green and white wire was on this side of the, on the, on the right, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because on our, uh, how the battery is plugged in, the green and white, it's on the left. <laughs> Insane! So now if I power on the laptop, probably it's working fine and it's showing the battery. I mean, I can even unplug the charger, right? Yeah. Look, I unplugged the charger. And the laptop is still fine. Just wait, because we unplug the battery and we reset the BIOS. Let's wait a little bit. I can see the fans are spinning. Crazy fault. Okay, so that's the customer. He tried to replace himself the battery and he got it wrong. Yeah. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> sadly, sadly. <sighs> what a crazy fault. I mean, this can be karma, you know, it's karma, you know. <laughs> you try to save the money and replace the battery yourself? <laughs> and probably he broke the connector? Possible. Yeah, we have the charging sign on the screen. You can see the charging sign. And if I unplug the, the charger, it's fine. It's a low battery, but the laptop is working fine. Haha. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. And the laptop shut down. Let me see the, the, the charging current. Come on, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You can't take three amps. Yeah, it's not like 2.5. Kind of high, you don't think? Let me... Let me be sure the laptop is shut down. One second. Let me shut down the... The windows, yeah. Yeah, it is charging with 2.5 amps. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, all good. So we found the problem. We spent a little bit some time here. Quality time. And we found the problem. 
actually was no issue with this laptop apart from the fact the battery was plugged in on the other way yeah, actually I think the hot glue is a good idea just to be sure the the uh, the, the connector it not be plugged on the other way Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Let's put it all back together. Okay, all good. It's all together. Charging fine. Two point five amps. Pressing the power button. Ah, yeah. So you see, this is ex it's explain why the IO chip was not speaking with the battery because the wires on those were the other way so it's all working fine I put it all back together the battery is charging fine you can see the yeah brighter it's a nice screen you can see the battery is charging I'm plugging the charger and it's still holding the charge I mean, it's a brand new battery, yeah, it should, uh, it should work fine for a while. Yeah? Good, so I'll stop the, I'll stop the video now. I'll say thank you for watching. And if you're a customer, just, you know, maybe sometimes it's a good idea to, you know, leave a computer shop to deal with your problem. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, uh, see you on the next one. Bye.